Welcome to the Berea Podcast. This is Troy. And this is Della. You know, when we started this podcast, we talked about, Troy, that um, some different things we wanted to do. We wanted to talk about things we like to do. We wanted to talk about places we like to go. We wanted to talk about things or people we wanted to know more about. We wanted to look at the history. And one of the people on our list was the person we referred to as the jazz walking lady. We had seen her out and about, and she was on our list from the beginning of, we would really like to interview her and get to know more about her. And in fact, Part of her route, I think, must take her near our house where we've moved to because I would see her when I would be walking to get our daughter from the school. And a few times I had stopped her and tried to get her name and number, but she's always moving. I mean, if in, and she's, she's, you know, she's, she does not want to stop. So when I would try to get her name and number, I would try to put the phone number in really quickly to let her go. And I was always, always got the digits off or something. I could never figure out a way to get a hold of her. Well, we were walking down to the Bria Community School homecoming parade and walking in the other direction up the sidewalk on Lip Street was the jazz walking lady. So we asked if we could interview her and she said, in essence, sure, let's walk through these trees. And it's that stand of trees that were uh, referenced on an earlier podcast episode that used to be an orchard or a nursery. Uh, right off of Ellipse Street, and we walked through the trees and around them. But for... it's like no walking that you and I do. This yeah, is absolutely. This, this, it this was, was we were huffing it. Power walking and you know doing the mm-hmm. twists and curves mm-hmm. that you see her do on the road. Mm-hmm. We were doing a bunch of eights through those trees. It was not. It was figure really eights figure and, eights. Mm-hmm. And oh, it, it was a workout getting this interview that we hope you enjoy. So you'll with this you'll learn a little bit about Tony. You'll learn about her exercise regiment, why she does it, and some reasons why she loves Berea. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this interview with Tony the Jazz Walking Lady. Can you hear us talking okay? Yeah, yeah. yeah it's a podcast uh, where Is it we okay? interview things we love about Berea, and you're one of the things we love about Berea. I so am so glad you got contact is, with me. What we need to do, baby? We're doing it right now. Can we just record you, and we'll walk with you? Do you want us to keep up with you? Yes. Okay. okay. Let's go. Where are you going to go? We're going to go around the trees here a little bit. Okay. We're going around the trees. Now, how long, what is it that you're doing? What is it called? Exercise. Well, yeah. <laughs> To me, I've got to keep moving. Yeah? Yeah. I, I say you have to keep moving with your body in order for it to keep you going. Yeah? So I see that sometimes we don't eat right. And we, uh, you know, there's many things that we do to stop this heart rate from beating. But right. it's normally supposed to be. You know, it's sitting eight hours a day. That's right. like the opposite. And I, I figure to get that energy, it starts from the heart. Yeah? It's got to be pumping. So I get out there and I say, okay, Toy, because I, I, next minute I sit down or something and start eating or start thinking about something and I get sidetracked. Yeah. And you start eating and all that eating is just bad. Uh huh. If it's not done properly, it's bad. Well, so what kind of I, things do you eat? So I know I love to eat. <laughs> and I, yes, yeah, so I figured. In order for me to eat the way I eat, because I can eat pretty much anything. Yeah. But when I start exercising more, it shrunk my stomach a little bit. Yeah. So instead of getting down them two plates, I can get down one yeah. and don't force it. All right. Because I know I done tightened up in here. Yeah. Muscle. Gives me strength to carry on. <laughs> <laughs> now, how many do you do this today? Out of seven days, I jog every bit of five. All right. Now, where'd you get the idea of doing this? Because we see you all the time, and you're you're not just walking faster. You're not jogging. You do more. Flourish. You have flourish. Uh-huh. You have flourish. Uh, I'll tell you what. When I, the, jazz the, jazz the jazz walker. I'll tell you what. When I went into the military, yeah. Uh, you know it's training. You're up early in the morning, yeah. and everybody has to get up, and anything we do, we got to get up early and get started. Sure. So I figured when I went over to that mess hall, I would eat like a pig. Okay. <laughs> I, I love to eat. And so in the evenings, when I got out from my work, I said, hmm, let me just take off running. Honey, next minute I was back in the fields running up and down these hills, liking it all by myself. Uh-huh. And next minute, 
They said, okay, Tony, she's got all this endurance going on with her. We're gonna help her squad me up. Oh, help yeah? You're gonna, she's gonna march these soldiers. So next minute, I'm out there calling Cadence. Calling Cadence, like, all right. In the military for the soldiers. Yeah. Okay, that was good. So after years and years and years, I go into the uh, uh, overseas. I'm in, stuck in the airborne unit. And these guys, they train for hard work. And I've always been a sort of like outdoor type person uh -huh. with activities. I got over there, I was stuck in the airborne unit. Yeah? And they was running me every day. Yeah. Got now, me motivated. How long have you been in Berea doing this? Have like you been on the military in, uh, in Europe? And retired now? I say uh, 18 years I'm going. Yeah? In Berea. They can't drag me out of Berea. <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. Now, uh, have you been doing this the whole 18 years? Because <laughs> I retired from Army Depot. Yeah. I, I worked out there. So that's what brought you to Berea? Uh, uh, my military, too, because I, re I retired from the Army. Yeah. And then after I retired from the Army, I joined the, out here at the Depot, Civil Service. And gotcha. Federal. Well, so where, where are you from originally? Paris, Kentucky. Oh, that's that's right up the road. Right, yes, right from Lexington. I'm a, I'm a Kentucky. Gotcha. But it just this like this just keeps the little body going. Oh yeah. So what are you listening to when you're like, my music? I like uh good music. I take I'm um, um, what you call it the alternative. Okay. Yeah. When it comes to music. So like what are some names of people? Okay. I, I like Whitney Houston's. Oh yeah. I, I like Michael Jackson. Yeah. Michael something Jackson. Uh, just something to get this me going. Yeah. Uh yep. I like uh oh gosh. Well, let's say a little jazz. Yeah. Uh huh. Everything's got to be, be in that beat. beat, beat. Got yeah, to that beat helps mm -hmm. you go. Mm -hmm. And is that what makes you sort of do your like you're doing more than just walking? Yeah. Okay. You, I, like you turn around and go back. Do you have any you kind of pattern? You do that. Yeah. Uh -huh. Do you have any kind of pattern that every so often you no, turn around? Uh -huh. I just do it when I, I figure, you know, because I'm 62 years old. Oh, my every, goodness. Every now and then. You. you, you oh, my gosh. You I'm. Around me. I know. <laughs> We're trying to keep up with you at 62. <laughs> Well, and, so, and so I get out there, I say, okay, it's 62, can I just keep on running? And I'm just like a little Forrest Gump. <laughs> <laughs> I just yeah. don't, I got to get that run in. I, I can come back from this jog and do 50 push-ups with no problem. No, not mm -hmm. take a nap? Uh-huh. Uh -huh. no. no problem. I get like, a, like a, a super woman or something. Oh my goodness. I can just keep going just like a jog of running. Wow. Uh, I guess it's that horse race. Yeah, when you're up there for as long as you do. How, how long do you jog? I say, I say I do six miles, but I'm doing twisting and turning and going up yeah. the hill. Uh -huh. That's 20 normal uh -huh. miles. Yeah. So I think, it, uh, and when I was started out that run, and just going like this. Yeah. And when I was uh, uh, training, uh, uh, when I was in the uh, squad leader, yeah. platoon sergeant, well, you always got those slackers. Yeah. So you always got to kind of turn back and Oh, and watch you. So that's yeah. what got me doing this. Yeah. So, yeah. so yeah. after I retired, I, and I was still doing this, you know, I said, hmm, let me turn backwards on them. I said, oh, I like this. Yeah. And well, you do it, just some a little bit one way and a little bit another. It breaks it up. That's mm -hmm. why I hate running. Mm -hmm. So you don't feel like you could throw up right now? <laughs> okay. Because we're running just around the trees trying to... Uh, What's that corral you in so that we could? <laughs> I like the inner circle. I love the outer. Crazy. I'm just brown. I but if I'm on the you. inner, it's like a horse race. I don't want to have you on the inside. No. <laughs> when we loop out, I get five feet back. So I just love it. This is the most I've run in 2017. And you know, I love it because I hope I'm helping somebody to know it's all about that heart. Well, you sure? So we're going to, you know, we do the podcast, so we're going to put this interview up. Is that okay with you? It might not sound all that good. It's going to, oh, know. I have loved it. And I think other people will love it. My goodness, this is so fun. When we started the podcast, we told somebody, you know, we want, the podcast is about things we love about Maria. Exactly, sweetheart. And, and we said, you know, like, I'd love to interview the, the jazz running lady. She's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I want to know what motivates her, mm -hmm. why she does that. Mm -hmm. We wanted to learn more. So, mm -hmm. And the people we were talking to thought that sounded like a fantastic idea. Mm -hmm. They would like mm -hmm. to know, too. Exactly. Yeah. So, so after you start go, going, it yep. feels good with your hair. Uh-huh. So I, I I'll, no, I'll work through this, yeah, huh? I don't take no medication. Oh, at all. No medication at all. My goodness. 
So what are the well, things you do in Berea besides? Well, this? you know, after I retire, yeah. Now I, 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 I uh, uh, said I wasn't gonna do nothing. I just wanted to relax and be, help myself with just right. be me because yeah. I've taken care of my family along with my journey through life yeah. and, and, yeah. and everything. My mama passed and my brother passed and I was just glued to the family. Yeah. So uh, I didn't want to do nothing, but you know, 24 hours in a day is not long. Right. <laughs> After I retired, 24 days is just like a viper. It's uh, long. Yeah. And I found there today, and I said, okay, uh, in fact, I can get up because I love to move around the house. I love to, uh, I love to wash clothes. I love to clean. So I'm always a moving person. Yeah. Okay. So I said, hmm, I got to do something. So I uh, helped help the elderly a little bit, but that that wasn't really what I wanted to do. I didn't want to have to be on a time. Yeah. I just Retire want to be on your own schedule. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said I couldn't work with that too much. So I said, no, I can't do this. And then somebody wanted me to be a sitter in for people and stuff like that. I don't want to do that. I'm retired. I don't want to do nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Unless I want to, you know. Yeah. I love helping people and everything. Right. But right. I just want to be an inspiration for people out yeah. here that you got to keep moving with your life. Yeah. Uh, Have some kind of yeah. purpose of it. Just don't let it set yeah. and, you know, because well, uh, out of mind is a devil's workshop. Yeah. Uh -huh. So what, now, do you, what do you love about Maria? Oh, I tell you what, the people. Oh, the people are just genuine. That's what I think. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. <laughs> I blacked out for a second there. <laughs> the people in Berea are yeah. just genuine. And and I like the, the little town. It's quiet. Yep. It's got so much to offer, mm -hmm. along with the college and all the the uh, the arts and the schools. and uh -huh. okay. It's all about learning. Yes. And this yep. is a learning, learning town. It is. It's quiet. I like that. You know, love it. Yes, love it yeah. for mm -hmm. a country. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Well, thank you so much oh, for anytime. talking to us. And I hope I can help in any kind of way. Cause I, most of the time y'all see me out here jogging. Yeah. But if y'all uh, happen to be over there by, uh, I live over there of uh, 25 North, like leaving out of Berea. Yeah. yeah. Well, uh, great. Over at Shannon Johnson School, if you okay. don't need any more. Okay. Sure enough. Oh, honey, I got out here where all the praise started coming. You're gonna see it. You, you did a pick the perfect time. But but I think people thought they were gonna come this way. Yeah, they're coming this way. And our child's in it, so we're excited. Do you have a standard route? Do you have a standard route? You do. You do. So tell us about it. Oh my little route. Let's keep walking. Oh, sorry. Oh yeah, this way. We could just jog a place. Oh my god. Tell us this. And and my route is leaving my home. And, and then I come straight out here. This okay. I don't know my streets too well. Okay. But you like going by the the you know school, Berea Queen Community yeah. School. Because when I'm in line getting a mocha mu latte in my car at Dairy Queen, I see you going by. Bye. And I just feel a little guilty. <laughs> I'm getting a mocha mu latte. So you're going by Dairy uh, Queen exercise. Oh. <laughs> uh. So I, I come out that way, and I come straight up this way here. Like going through here now? Going through a lift. Uh -huh. And this, yeah. this, this this hill right here, I go up, up this little hill right here. Yeah. At the top of the, I call that my killer hill. Oh yes. my God, because it's cause slow. Got, it's so long. Yeah. Down in it. uh, oh, and when I get down, that's I'm not a Whitney down. Houston song, song. hill. <laughs> yes, that is a Michael <laughs> Jackson <laughs> band. Or <laughs> <laughs> thriller. Yeah. 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 <laughs> and, and, and so if I can get on top of that hill, I can run for miles. Once you get there. Uh -huh. And where do you go? Do you turn right? I turn right and go down there to, uh, uh, they got a fleet market and, uh, and uh, they got a little park right there on the left hand side yeah. over there. Yeah. That's my, oh, that's my little route. I go in there and I run around there. Oh, yeah. And, and I'm a big thing for flags. I love oh. to salute my flag. Oh, okay. yeah. So when I see my flag and I go, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's little things that just kind of give me that. Yeah. You know, sure. I love to salute my Well, you're going to give loads of people inspiration oh, listening oh. to this. Oh. What I'll ask them to do is, if they are inspired, shoot us an email. Shoot me an email at Troy at the Bria Podcast, and we've got your number, so we'll get it right to you, okay? Oh, okay. So I good? appreciate that. I'm so glad we got to interview you. So we will be putting this up this weekend. I'm sure so running like it's you all. No, this has no, been this so is fun. It's I wish we had a video. So it's uh, like me and Drew going, you're 62. Uh, we're so coming. Cute. We're coming. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, we will let you go up your thrailer hill. Hi, sweetheart. Take right, care. We'll call you when it's up. Pass.
What's your team? This is so good. We'll call you. We'll call you. Yeah, call me. All right. Thanks so much. Thank you all. Bye. I hope it sounds okay. Oh, it's going to sound great. Bless you. Wasn't it great? It was great. You know, she is, she says she wants to be an inspiration, and she has been, right? I mean, when I have seen her, I have been really curious about her. And even last year, before we bought our house now, when I would, when I would walk our daughter places, I would put in my Hamilton musical music. And, you know, when that beat gets going, it's hard not to want to, you know, move a little bit to it. And actually, I was less shy sort of keeping that beat walking because I had seen her doing that. So I, she was an inspiration, not enough of an inspiration so far, because I would like to, I'd like to exercise more. But she really, you know, she was, what'd she say, 62 years 62 old? 62 and does that five times a day for six miles. Five times a week, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> five times a day. Five times a week. And she was just so sweet and friendly and very, uh, I just, I thought just a real joy to spend time with. Uh, and it was fun. It was really, really fun. It was us on the go. Like, we were really trying to keep up. So she was, I thought she was great. Yes. And if you want to let her know that you're in, you're encouraged by her, shoot me an email at Troy at the com. I'll share that with her. But also on the Facebook page over at the Bria Podcast on Facebook, write a comment about you know the inspiration that she is Mm -hmm. and that we will make sure that she gets every word she she is just one of those people i think that um when you're new to berea you see her and you just wonder about her and i hope that for other people who who are living here and didn't know anything about her hear her story and now feel even more connected to the community because you know a little bit about this woman who is who is such a such an interesting person in our community Absolutely. So until next week, bye. Bye. Today is why I stay.